Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. We're here at Longwood Gardens. This place is just absolutely beautiful. I've been coming out here for many, many years. I always call this place the, the Disneyland of horticulture. It, it, it's a huge garden. This place is miles and miles and miles. acres and acres. Yeah, you don't believe me, you're in denial, right? No, <laughs> you're in Africa. Sorry, now we're throwing, on, now we're throwing in Disney references here. So. This place is just, it's, it's acres and acres and acres of just nothing but gardens and fountains, just anything and everything that's possibly beautiful. And this place is absolutely beautiful. Again, we've been coming out here, look at that. We've been coming out here for like, how long, we've been coming out here since we started dating. Yeah. Right, we, we've been coming out here forever. Like we've been bringing Sean out here forever as well. We're yeah. usually um, season pass members though, due to the last two years of COVID, yeah. we didn't have um, season passes, but we're thinking about buying a season pass again. Mm -hmm. For, um, for this year because we, we love coming out here. We've, we've actually been here since like one o'clock this afternoon and it's, it's now like, eight, it's coming up like eight o'clock yeah. and we've just been walking around seeing everything there is to see and there is a lot to see. They're actually redoing a whole boatload of the um, conservatory area there, which is gonna be really cool. I believe that's done in 2024. It'll be finished in 2017. They actually redid all these fountains here. So these were all just recently redone. This whole area here was redone. And now they're redoing the conservatory, which um, is under construction, unfortunately. But in two years from now, it'll be done and looking fantastic. We've seen the uh, plans for it. It looks amazing. So we're pumped to be out here. It's, it's just a lot of fun. This place is packed. It is, there, there's so many people here. It's actually the day before Father's Day, which is probably why. That's why we came out here to celebrate Father's Day. And the weather's really nice. There's something right in front of us. Yeah, that we we're, check we're out gonna go first. in there. So, um, like I said, they recently redid this whole area here back in 2017. And uh, when they redid it, they built this here, which is um, something that, a feature that was not here before. This is a grotto. Yeah, look look at this. Look at that. It's water is a big feature of. Um, yes, that is really cool. Water is a big feature of uh, Longwood Gardens. They have a lot of fountains. They do a big fountain show. In fact, right now we're technically underneath the huge fountain show they do. So you come down here and look at this. That is pretty neat. I remember when they first built this, I had no idea this existed. And uh, we're, we're just coming down here. We're, we're checking out the new, uh, the new like fountainy sort of area garden section. And then I see like, what, there, there's a cave? Like, what, why is there an opening? We had to go in there and check that out. And we were pretty, uh, pretty blown away with what we saw in there. So yeah, we're having a lot of fun here today. We've been here for just hours and hours and hours walking around, seeing everything there is to see. And like I said, a bunch of the, the uh, gardens are actually shut down. A whole bunch of the conservatory, like a, like a good, I'd say, I don't know, half, 75% maybe even of the, the conservatory is actually shut due to the new construction. And for some reason, the whole like, there's like this kind of like woodsy yeah. back area that's also for some reason shut down. They haven't actually um, said why that's shut down. Just as for your safety. So maybe they're doing some work back there or something. But uh, with that being said, there's a lot of this park right now that's um, not open. And again, we've been here all day. So uh, I think the first time we ever came out here, we didn't realize we'd be here all day. I, mean, I remember oh. the first, I remember you and I came out here. We got we got out here like bright and early when they first opened up. Mm -hmm. Thought, all right, we'll be out here for, you know, a couple hours, yeah. see what there is to see, and then we'll be done and we'll go home. We were out here until close. There, there was so much to see. We were just here for hours and hours and hours. They have a really nice um, uh, like food court. Yep. Up there as well, it's just all kinds of, um, well, if you're into alcoholic beverages, they got those. They've got all kinds of sandwiches and fun stuff like that. Ch Sean enjoyed the chicken fingers. Yeah, I had some really good. nice, like, um, grilled or whatever, like, like roasted chicken. chicken. I don't yeah. know, some kind of seasoning on it. It was absolutely delicious. That was amazing. So um, you can come out. You can literally spend the entire day out here. Get yourself some lunch. Get yourself some uh, dinner. It's just a lot of fun. And the weather today is beautiful which is one of the reasons why we decided to come out here because uh, we decided to, to celebrate father's day on saturday and not sunday this year and uh i was like i don't know what we should do i'm thinking i was thinking something inside because yesterday was in the 90s it was hot it was brutally hot out yesterday and I, I was thinking well okay we're gonna do something today it's got to be something inside oh, the the bell tower's going off so i was thinking we got to do something um inside because it's just gonna be so incredibly hot out because again yesterday was in the 90s Today, it's been in the 60s yeah. all day long. I think the highest it got was like like 69 or, or something like that. It was maybe 70. It was beautiful out all day. You want to say something? Speaking of bell tower, we should go over there and check it out. You want to go up to the bell tower? Yes. All right, we, we can walk over to the bell tower. So, um, There's also some cool waterfalls. There are cool waterfalls. So when I found out what the uh, temperature of the day was going to be, I, I figured, well, we got to... We got to come out to, uh, to Longwood Gardens. It's the first time we've been out here since uh, the, um, the whole pandemic. So I'm kind of excited to be out here right now. And again, it was like a perfect day to get out here and enjoy the gardens with the weather being so incredibly beautiful on this 
I guess late late spring day. Summer's yeah. coming, isn't it? Is this, this is the last week of spring, right? Yeah, I think. Sure. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So uh, enjoying one last probably nice day until it just gets brutally hot for the entire rest of uh, the summer until uh, until autumn comes. So again, we're having a great great time, and yeah, the bell towers are amazing. They actually do all these different um, displays, I guess you would call them, down here. Uh, this one here, I guess, has to do with flamingos. I don't know. Maybe at night, this will all be lit up. They have other, so, like, yeah. light features. There's on the other side of the, the gardens, which is, like, a couple, probably, like, two miles that way. Yeah. This place is huge. It is insane how much walking around you have to do here. But um, on the other side of the park, they have a whole entire field of, like, like looks like, like light bulbs on sticks. Yeah. I want to see what that looks I'm like when, when they light that up tonight. That looks yeah. pretty awesome. It's like a conservatory. They had some like light features, something like with like, like a bunch of CDs. Like, CDs, like a bunch of CDs. I'm guessing they reflect light or something. There's a yeah. big ball yeah. that looks like it lit up. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this place looks like at night with all the different uh, light features they have. And of course, they're doing a fountain show tonight as well, which is going to be awesome. That's like one of their big things. Every I hope you guys can hear me. The bells are so loud. So every night, I think it's like Tuesday through Saturday they, they start something like that. They do a, a light show here. I, could, I, I, I went to hit those days wrong. But go to their website, check it out. But they do a um, a light, a big fountain show where they shoot huge jets into the air and they all move around and big jet cannons. And it's all done with like beautiful lighting and done to like music. Like the, they, I think the, the time we saw it was all like Beatles music and stuff. That was really cool. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right, we're gonna go up the top of the, uh, the bell tower now. It is kind of uh, insane. Yeah, they have a whole story here that teaches you how they how they built a bell tower, how they built the bells, how the bells actually work, which is pretty awesome. This is really cool. I feel like I'm in like a medieval castle right now. Unfortunately, you cannot go all the way up to the actual bells. They don't allow you to do that. Wish they did, but it is what it is. This is, uh, this is the end. Basically takes you up to the second floor. Okay, there is one bell you can check out. It's so loud, so the bells are, are right up there. They're really loud in here. I do wish we could go up there. It'd be, it'd be insanely loud, but totally worth it. So like I was saying, they actually have a bunch of this park um, blocked off. See, temporarily closed for your safety. I don't know what that's about. That is so loud. I think this is the closest I've been to the bell tower with them actually going off. Wow. It is very loud. It's pretty awesome though. You wanna go this this way? Yes. Alright. Like water fountains and stuff. There's so many cool features here. There's like this place is all about plants and water. So like there's tails you can go on which including this one. And yeah, there's also like there, there's, there's water fountains up this way. So we get to see you guys. We get to see a lot of water. Today. Yes. This is all a place is all about water. <laughs> it is all about water. So um, there's all kinds of stuff to see. I mean, if you're into any kind of nature whatsoever, this place is awesome to come out to because you can see just, you know, you can go to the conservatory and see like a, like a greenhouse with really nice plants and flowers and whatnot. They have a big um, like meadow you can walk yeah. through, which is really neat. It goes out to this old farmhouse. It's a really long walk, but totally yeah. worth it. They have gardens, like 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 vegetable gardens here, and yeah. big water features and other like I mean it's it's anything and everything horticulture. It's it's pretty amazing. Like I said, the Disneyland of horticulture. And if you're into water features, they have got some of those as well. Look at the really awesome waterfall. Yeah, the waterfall goes there, goes underneath the bridge. And then goes down to it to get another waterfall, which is pretty awesome. And it's a really nice place to uh, to take photographs too. There's a lot of people here who've been taking pictures. I've taken pictures here. I was taking pictures earlier of uh, the wife here. So we were having a good day. But uh, as you can see, the sun is starting to set now. I don't know what we're gonna do for the next. When, when's the lights? When's the fountain show? Do you know? I don't know when the fountain show even is. We're probably gonna hang around for the fountain show though, because we're we're here. We paid and we want to see it. Uh, we can actually put the money we use towards tickets today towards a um, annual pass. So I'm thinking, I think we're going to do that. We're pretty sure the annual pass is good for like a I year. Year from, yeah, a year from the date you buy. And if that's the case, I think we're going to buy an annual pass. If it's only good for like the physical year, then no, that's not really I don't know. We probably should have bought it earlier. But if it's good, I think, it's, I think it is good for from the day you buy it till a year from then. So if that's the case, then yeah, we're definitely going to, uh, I think, buy an annual pass and 
start coming back here all the time. And we, we used to come out here like every other weekend. We haven't gone this way yet. So yeah, you're you right. Get to see some new things that we haven't seen. <laughs> we've, we've, no, we've not walked down this path way, yet. This way, this is the only thing we haven't explored yet. I think it just takes us to the fountains though, which is cool. The fountains are pretty awesome. Yeah, but I think it's just a close-up view of the path. A cool what? Close-up view of it the It is, path. yes. We do get to see the fountains from uh, the back side. The back? Ooh, back is it the back of side of water? <laughs> we, get, we get to see. So, as you can see, we are coming up on the, uh, on the fountains here. These, again, they do a huge show here. What you're seeing right now is nothing in comparison to what they usually have. The, the fountain show is, is crazy. Oh my gosh, well, the wind's blowing this way. We're feeling all the, uh, the mist of the water. You see, it's very, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, we gotta, oh well, boy, we, we gotta be careful. It looks like it's raining right now. So um, yeah. this is really cool looking, obviously, but uh, when they do the, the actual like fountain shows, they shoot these huge jets of water into yeah. the air and they're all moving back and forth. They're all set to like, like set in time to music and there's, there's lights going off and it's actually really, really epic and really cool. In fact, I believe some of the fountains out in like the, um, the garden area, you know some of them shoot like flames up through like the middle of them? Oh. I, I think, I think when we were here, like, like, oh, we're, we're getting wet now. So I think, um, I'm walking through puddles. So I, I think, um, some of them even had like flames coming up. It was, it was really awesome. Look at that. That's beautiful. So anyway, all right. Well, see, this area is closed as well. Look at that. I don't know why so many areas are closed. They really don't want you going back there, which is kind of um, sad because like I said, any kind of thing like nature wise, this place offers, whether it's a field or a garden or whatever. And they also have this whole area back here, which is more of like a, a wooded area. And you kind of walk through the woods and, uh, well, not, I shouldn't say woods. Yeah, no. It's not woods in the sense, because they have that over there. There's actually an area where you're li literally walking through the woods. Yeah. They have these trails go through the woods. This is more of a... Um, it's more of a, like a garden's woods. Yeah. So like, I, I don't know if I, that makes any sense to you guys. It, it is like, it, it does feel like you're walking through the woods, but it's it's laid out. Yeah. That way it's, it's, it's prepared that way, as opposed to back there where you're literally just walking through trails in, in the woods. But um, it is beautiful back there. They have some really nice trees, but for some reason they're not letting you back there right now. I'm not entirely sure why. Kind of wish they would, but all right, guys, that's it. We're gonna go. Just wanted to stop in and say hello from uh, Longwood Gardens, one of our all time most favorite places to uh, enjoy. And yeah, I think we're becoming annual pass members again this year because we come out here all the time. And you should definitely come here because <laughs> this place is awesome. So definitely, 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 definitely come here. Because definitely. Yes, definitely come here because it's really fun. So many cool sights to see and it's awesome. Really, 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 really <laughs> awesome. And Sean, clearly eight-year-olds love it here. There actually is a lot of stuff to see for eight-year-olds. They can run around. There's places for them to play. There's three, oh, there's three, yeah, a whole indoor place for them to play. Right yeah, the kids like water. There's a water area. Yeah. Um, there's three tree houses they can play on. There's again, yes. there's fields. There's all kinds of things. Yes. Like, Sean's been jumping around, having a great day all day. But and also, I remember there was little like stairs. So yes. definitely take your. So if you're coming and this is a surprise or something or for a birthday or something. Definitely make it for your kids because they will love it. Because I'm definitely loving it. They should. Too. They should pay you, man. They should get. They. Not sponsored. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, non-sponsored. <laughs> Hashtag non-sponsored. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking they should, should pay Sean yeah, for this. But anyway, guys. So that's it. So, all right, we're gonna go. So as always, guys. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. Check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the uh, Cinema Sick the store. Also, check down below for a link to uh, my first channel, Cinema Sick this, where you guys can check out all kinds of daily thrifting videos if you're into that kind of thing and i will see you guys in the next video so all right again here from beautiful longwood gardens with that amazing sunset right there unfortunately with the giant crane in the photo as well but again they're, they're redoing the uh the conservatory it's gonna be worth it in two years from now when that's all redone it's gonna look fantastic but all right that's it so i'll see you guys next video have a good one guys bye, bye. Come here, <laughs> make sure definitely come here at some point hashtag not sponsored see ya